It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Oh, go on. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, my dad. Say, man, you know that they've been kind of, you know. It's been going, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing our thing, man. Boss Talk 101, man, we're doing it. Um, you know, we're in Dallas, Texas, man. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, when you've been in the city so long and you've been listening to the sounds of the city, man, sometimes things hit your ears that you just got to, you know, stop and take and pay attention to, man. Check it, man. Miss. Hey, Cool is in the building. Yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. You like that intro? I, I do, I love it. hell of an intro, was, didn't I? You hit it You thought I was Steve Harvey, one of them <laughs> niggas. Ricky Smiley Jr. around this thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you hit it on point. Yeah, it's just good to have your energy in here, man. Thank you so much for coming, man, and sharing our platform. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Thanks for having me. Man, so we're going to get into it a little bit. So, you know, cool. <clears throat> how did cool? I mean, I mean, cool. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, how did, um, um, so let's talk about it. South Dallas. South okay. Dallas. Right Coming right. up from South, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, being a female artist, uh, they just they don't call them female no more. What do you call them now? Female. Females. Okay, cool. I don't <laughs> want it. no problem. You niggas change all the time. You know what I'm saying? So being a female artist from South Dallas, man, what, how did you, how did you even start to even deal with music? So my start with dealing with music started um, really as a kid. Okay. Um, I grew up off of UGK, about MJG. Stop the press! <laughs> <laughs> UGK, she oh, just said no, that. Hey, that's same the word. Magical word. Oh, okay. You in, in the building for a reason. <laughs> hey, listen, man. We in Texas, man. Yes. You heard what she said. Cool was with it. She said UGK eight ball. Keep going. Yeah, uh, Pac Bone Thugs, like oh, Gladys Knight, nice, Steve yeah. Harvey, yeah. Stevie Wonder, all of yeah. that real good music. That's what I came up off of. Man. Man. So just coming from where I came from, that music was like my escape from okay. you know, my environment. So was your mom and dad in the music or something? How did you end up getting in the music? My brother, my oldest brother. Your oldest yes. brother. I knew it had to be something. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that I always wanted to mimic and be like. So Pac was his person, and that became my person. And I dove into his music and poetry, and it was just a rap from there. Wow, Tupac. What do you think about that, baby? Tupac. I love me, Tupac. I know it, man. Yeah. What, 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 what you like that steal down for me? Um, you know what I'm saying? What you like? What you like? My, I get around. What you like? What's, <laughs> you your, thing? What's your thing? What's your thing? What's your thing? So, um... Lord knows. No. Um, I take. A, I smoke a blunt to take the pain out, <laughs> and if it wasn't high, I'd probably try to blow my brains out. <laughs> Thugs Mansion, for sure. <laughs> Get away, thug that mansion. Was it. Yeah. Okay, thug mansion. I get yeah. it. I tried to give her mine. Mm -hmm. She didn't take it. Yeah, you trying to impose that. <laughs> 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 Ever since I met this young lady, man, it's been a blast, man. Thank you so much for your energy, man. No, same here. I appreciate it, man. I love to smile. I love to have a good time. Same and here. you've been on point with it. Ever since I called you, I couldn't, I didn't scare you or nothing. I didn't oh, run, no, folks, I didn't run folks up, I, but I should know you were thugging <laughs> we it. She's language. from the South. She's from South <laughs> Dallas. She used to niggas coming out of hardcore. <laughs> I am the nigga that come hardcore. See, I, knew you, I knew you were gonna say that. You know what I'm talking about. So, so how many brothers did you have? I was raised with three of my brothers. Three brothers. Yes. Was you the only girl? I was. The, Man, the, the, the baby it. girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, them niggas tell them niggas don't come over here with that man, madness. I ain't trying I was, to hear it. I was Little shouted in the mug because of them. I bet. I was. You had to get to hell. You were happy when they growed and gold. Huh? You yeah, but it, it made sense, though. It gold. made gold. sense. I'm from Texas, nigga. They growed <laughs> and gold. Uh, they went. Okay, so, how, right. so so when they left, you was there by yourself, or, or did they ever leave? Or no, they up? left. They okay. left. But I didn't really, like... Even when they was gone, I was still, they had people watching me. Like, Damn. yeah, it was like that. It wasn't until I went off to college where I was like able to. Where you go to college at? I went to Gramlin. <laughs> but when I, that, that was party like, thing was serious down there. I heard a story about Gramlin. Man, keep yeah. your story. No, <laughs> she, the woman say her daughter say, "Now, mama, we doing good down in school." She said, and "That grandma, she had butt dollar grandma, and it was she heard all type of noise down there." Oh no. <laughs> I don't know about all that. You was a good girl down there? No, I was For the party scene, you know, she, that's I, what grandma that's, heard. 
man, when I went out there, that's when I like turned up because I was so sheltered. <laughs> <laughs> well, you was like I'm finna have a damn good time I mean I still was I still was like I was still in my lane Like I didn't just go crazy crazy But you know I was What was your major? What did um, you Education do? Oh so you wanna yeah. be a teacher? No I did <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the education Ain't that how everybody started <laughs> My daughter went oh, I wanna be she tell you, I wanna be a surgical tech I mean My, my oldest daughter Granted, I, through my music, I am still teaching. So oh, really? Okay. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Right, 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 right. Exactly. Nigga, you know, you ain't no damn real teacher, though. Yeah. Too. For the sure. real teacher, though, out there getting to it. The kid, Dennis, our photographer uh, and videographer, is a real teacher. He teaches at the high school. Oh, well, great. My best yeah. friend is a teacher. Shout out to yeah. Jess. Shout out to the one who <laughs> did it for real instead of pump faking around this thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know who got the most influence. Already, you get. Yeah, I mean, you 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 a breath of fresh air. Ditto. Go ahead. So um, I know she was waiting. <laughs> so how old were you when you really thought about rapping? Um. So when I entertained the actual thought of taking it serious, mm-hmm. um, honestly, when I was like nineteen, twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. But That's what's up. it took a while because I was so like I was the shy, quiet girl coming up. I always wrote poetry and stuff. So um just actually rapping in front of people, it wasn't until I was like, yeah, about twenty years old. Okay. So but before <clears throat> that you were actually like rapping to yourself. Doing yeah, with well, my friends and my peers. I was always freestyling with my mm-hmm. peers. Like they will always look forward to oh man, Crystal, drop a rap, drop a rap or um drop a freestyle. That was always something people look forward to me doing anytime we gather. It don't matter if we were at a restaurant, at a teenage club, skating party, they always want me to freestyle and rap like after the fact. And how old were <clears> you when you started doing that? I was in the eighth grade. So yeah. what took you so long to build a courage up? Yeah, to be honest, because I was so closed in, like I, I just allowed people's expectations of who I was supposed to be, like keep me boxed in. So like since I was the quiet, shy girl, I had the three brothers, like I I had this expectation to like be a certain way and I actually fell prey to that. But wow. it wasn't until um even though at twenty is when I thought to take it serious, it wasn't until two years ago. When I was 28, when I actually stepped out and did it, did it, and that was because of my son. When I had my son, I always, when he go to sleep, even though he wasn't old enough to talk, I always, like, pray over him and be like, you can do anything you want to do. Wow. And one night I was convicted, and I was like, I'm not doing what I want to do. I love rapping. Is This is my it. You know what I mean? And so it was like I had a pivotal moment when I was putting him to sleep, and I was like, man, forget what people think. Like, I'm going to do this, and that's how it. Man, ain't it something that, that, that you, you, you knew this? And and you got convicted, and I I've done that too. So I understand, girl. You was trying to pray me in, yeah. And 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 you sure. and God caught you and said, "Wait a minute, you ain't got yours together." <laughs> exactly. Now, now let's get you trying straight. To get that plank. Now, let, let's get you straight as well. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 that's the way. That's the kind of God we serve. That he, sure. he, you know, it's a double-edged sword. It Words is. is something else, too, ain't it? You Definitely. speaking them. You speaking life into your child and also spoke your vision into, into you. That's, that's it. That's I it. Myself that's in that beautiful, moment. man. So yeah. after that, did you, that's when you, you went to, had you been to the studio before? Yeah, my first, so my first time being in the studio, um, I was 14. My cousin took me wow, and I that's sang. Hot. That's hot. Yeah, you, I sang. So you can sing What? Too? No, no see, she okay. had no oh, Yeah, we could have sang in this thing. We are not singing in this thing. thing. No. That I was quick. We that in this was thing. No. Like, I just wanted to be honest with y'all. My, but you did go in there to sing. I, I sang, yeah, I sang. At um, 14? Ain't No Way by Aretha Franklin. And that you was, was 14? I was 14. And how did and, it wait, come out? Because you it, said yeah. you can't sing. So <clears> that was that? That was them. So I'm going to speed y'all up. So I went to the studio. You sucked at that dang studio then. That's why you didn't do it till you was older. You like, damn. You keep on messing with me, I got something for you when we turn the camera on. <laughs> no, you was in that hole like, damn. I, I did it because I, I did the same thing. Nigga laughed at me. It I ain't like never a, go back. It was, I'm like, hell no. I guess I can't do it. No, it really wasn't. I I came up in church, so I got that mm, in my vocals. Okay, well, like, let us hear it then. No, sir. I can't That's do what it. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you got that. Mm, mm, okay. Yeah, don't play with these mic. These sure is going to pick up everything, too. I hear it. I'm <laughs> very careful. <laughs> They're going to be on you. No, I think, you know, the thing mm-hmm. I could say about you, you know, is uh, as I listen to what I listen to and, and, and the way that you come across, man, you you seem like a seasoned vet, but you say you new to the game. And I understand why now when we were talking, yeah. you know, off off from behind the cameras. But, yeah. you know, um, 
that's the way it is, man. You know, and and I believe the internet has made it even better for you know people to be seen, people to be noticed. And I'm gonna tell you something else that's quite interesting. You know, everybody that basically rap and does music and these uh, does visuals, does photos. The one thing that uh, the the social media platforms have done, it exposes you. It tells you who you are. So whoever you are, it points at you and say, you know what? That's who you are. Exactly. And some people just fake. They make fake pages. Right. You know what I'm saying? That'd be <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. yeah, they may even get the numbers up, but they still right. fake. You can you got That's people like that in this world right. that are fake. But they, but but they was fake before social media. Right. You know, they they lived a fake life. It they just wouldn't highlight. Even, who they correct. Are. Correct. Mm-hmm. So it just basically amplifies. Right. Okay, this person fake now they fake online. Right. This person real now. Hey, you see they got real things going on. Right. So, but it also gives you a way to where you can look peek into everyone's business, and it tells you, hey, cool is this. Right. It's cool on. TikTok, well, we don't know. It's cool on Facebook. What she say, Facebook? Oh, well, I don't mess with that. And then, but all I'm saying is, people are everywhere. So yeah, utilize all these platforms, Twitter as well. I right. gotta ask, why the name Cool? Cool, oh, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> because it, it just because cool. every time I say it, it feels like something's missing. Like like right. it's cool something or something mm. cool. It is yeah. like just cool. So. <clears throat> um, I don't, let me see which direction I'm gonna take y'all. So my childhood nickname is Kool Aid. Um, having a big smile. So some people, like very few people, but some people call me cool or coolie for short or whatever like that. But my name before cool, it was Crystal X because my real name is Crystal. And um, cool, to be honest, it's a word that people use in everyday language. However, you male, male, female, um, it's only four letters versus the seven letters I had, well, the eight letters I had, um, I, I think into the future so when it comes to merchandise and things i want to have four letters or cheaper to print or stitch than eight letters and it's just something that's in my opinion like i said it it could easily become a household name because it's a word that people use every day so i'm gonna be in your whether you know it or not like i'm gonna be in your vocabulary like quick and easy kool-aid you can presuppose it's just like you said you feel like it's something missing but there's a mystique there so who is cool cool what click on it and figure out you know what i'm saying yeah, so it's yeah. like no matter um and then i'm a very laid back person i see like i'm very like i see cool and even like back. a miss cool or <clears throat> dj no well, not, not DJ, yeah but like a mc cool or some some something no 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 we cool we yeah. cool we, <laughs> we cool we cool like i said I, I like i like it you know um you know the thing the thing i look at is 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 you know the the way you market yourself, right? If if you put it out there and you put the power behind it, you know, right. the name gonna stick. But the the art gotta be there. The point, you know, the 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 the, the 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 talent gotta be there. Sure. You know, uh, plies. Right. You know, but we we seen plies and plies came in and uh, he was telling you about crackers bamming niggas. And then he he translated over and he it was a boogie time where he started jamming out with people like G's and different people in the industry. Right. But when he first came in, it, that started with T Pain. But then he he evolved and then he he came he became this other character for the right. platforms Martin. on I used internet. I get his name for, wrong for, 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 for the marketing. longest because really? I would call him Pliers. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I, until I saw the <clears throat> the name, I was like, oh, it's no. Pliers. But oh. but what I was saying is basically he's he's evolved with time and right. he's 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 done things that a lot of artists wasn't able to do, mm-hmm. and that's he found his niche in showing his it. artistic Thank flow you. in the platforms of social media, the way others have never been able to captivate it. Before Few have before. tried mm-hmm. and fell off, and he did it. And even if he don't do it no more, he had a run, no, a hell of a definitely. run. Didn't even know he had that like comedic side to him and just there you like yes, I know him more from that, honestly, Me too. Than, than, than the music. I know yeah. him from the music because right. I'm older cat. I mean, I know him from the music, but I'm yeah. saying as far as what will stick with me yeah. is what he's imprinted like currently because it's so consistent. I don't know. That shorty period was a bad boy for it, me. It was. Because he was out there with a little <laughs> shirt off with that little yeah. same little bird chest. Yeah, nigga, I'm talking to you. <laughs> right. And you was out there, you had your little pants sagging. And you, yeah, nigga, yeah, that's me, nigga, because I, I, I stand behind it. You know what I'm saying? But, but at the end of the day, he was cold. I'm, I've been his, I've been a, a fan, a supporter of Plies ever since he came out. Right. Like, 
I love his music. I love his style. I love the way now it feels. So mm-hmm. it feels like I'm in the projects when I but listen to the thing with his com- um, com- comedian, with his comedy, and not even just comedy, the things that he said that, that was he, real. Yeah. Um, he did that every single day. Yeah. All the time. So every time when you woke up, you you got an alert. Oh, you you're talking about on the, on the little on post social media. Yeah. Uh, compared to, yes, his music, it plays, you know, you hear it there or you, or you go buy it and you listen to it. But when something you see it every single day and you're looking for it, mm-hmm. that's why that sticks with a yeah. lot more people today than, you know. But well, he's, he's in the conversation. So for that's sure. that means that he he working. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure. Shout out to the nigga that be working. He's he still in the conversation. I that's think he real. probably started doing that just to keep relevant. No, I think he in did between, too. In between, in between. Sure. No, you no, know, no, it's a marketing strategy. I mean, I, that's why we brought it up. It's, right. it's something you have to do. I feel like a lot more artists need to be they, tuning into their artistic exactly. flow because the, social media is free. So if you're, not, if you're not getting... I tell people all the time, just like your friend here came and, and you know, he's, he's taking some pictures and stuff. Content over create. You got to have content built up so that you can use it because people are sitting at home more than anything mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, as soon as they wake up, they pick up they, their phone. You know what I mean? They, they pick up their phone or, or, or they go and they start scrolling and looking at different things that happened that they didn't make it to the club that night. Exactly. So they say, let me check and see what happened last night with Susan and him. And they know that people know as hell just scrolling. You know what I'm saying? But scrolling people want to make it feel like they know you without knowing you. Right. They want to know everything. They can tell you, oh, yeah, she always goes over here and she talks to this person and she always does this. Or they feel like they know you. Right. And that's that's the main thing. People want to know you as a person instead exactly. of just always you as an artist. Well, I seen your boy like half man. I know his birthday was last night. I sent him a picture and me and him chopped up. Well, it, I believe it came in at twelve. Mm-hmm. You I used to you want to know these niggas' birthday Not came real. in at twelve before, before social media was out, and he was just here. So I you know sent him a picture of us and all that. It's stuff like that. Like you would never interact with people like that. Right. If it wasn't it for wasn't the for social media wave. So, X. with that being said, it's a powerful tool. And just how are you dealing with it? I mean, monetizing YouTube, all those different things. Are you? How are you moving in that <clears throat> in that realm? So, to be honest with you, like be that, honest with me. Don't yeah, don't hey, hey, be honest with 100%. me. One hundred percent. So that's the that's that's what I'm moving into. Like Working I told you it. before, I am a rookie. Like in yeah, the trying industry. to get yeah. Trying so to that. just what I how I even got to your page. Um, I saw interaction with um i saw the interview with duro so somebody somebody duro um, duro yeah. yeah so somebody tagged me on his page and i just what i do is when i see the blue checks i go look in the comments and look for the people with no blue checks for the smaller following and i just shoot my music and i inbox anybody who i see interact. That's hot. i like that yeah and so you you just have a better shot at getting your music heard like i don't it's not even so much about the name dropping and like oh this person saw it it's just about it being seen it being heard like i know that i got the talent i know i got it so it's just like it's just it needs to be heard by the right people and so what i use for um yeah, i like that <clears throat> what i use for social media i just try to go where people already are in the inboxes, I don't care if you got three followers, two followers. Like That's you hot. need to hear what I gotta say. As far as YouTube, I just dropped a video and I didn't put it. Um, like I was <clears throat> telling you earlier, I didn't put it through. I didn't put the video through um, Facebook or Instagram. I just put it straight on YouTube and I just tell people to go to my link. So all of the views are going straight to YouTube. Eventually, I've um, I became in somebody's recommended um, views. So like my video popped up in somebody's recommended. I'm. I'm just starting out, you know. I got like almost 900 views in one week versus yeah. all my other videos. It took a year to get a thousand views because yeah. I was putting it through the platforms first. Yeah. So I just kind of reversed that formula, just taking people to my channel so I can get that algorithm with YouTube because their their um, audience is broader than Instagram or Facebook. <clears throat> so that's one a minor approach that I have to just no, no, get like people faces. I like it. Because um. I don't know, like showing up in people's recommended that counts because yeah. I've I've seen that's I've gotten on plenty of artists because of the things that pop. Yeah, up. Yeah, the hustle is real. Yeah. Like it's from the for you to up. even for you to even discover that <clears throat> it means that you're trying. Yeah, you Paying know what I mean. It means that you're grinding. You're yeah. trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. That's the whole game. Just don't ever stop trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, I'll take some. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever stop trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. Never. You know what I'm saying? Um, so um, you. Um, 
How do your mom feel about this music stuff? You all this- um, my mom knew I was gonna yeah. do something yeah. dealing with the stage when I was young. Like I was always, as she said, the. I seen that picture when when you yeah, like a little a baby. Mic. Yeah, what yeah. you thought? I, that's when you were trying to get that Aretha Franklin well, again. No, that's when I I I don't remember like that moment but my mom told me like we were that was the first time I had heard Stevie Wonder and I had wanted to like mimic him Beautiful. and um that my cousin Leonard <clears throat> rest in peace he um we were at his his brother's studio okay and so that's I've always dealt with like even as shy as people think I am or as quiet as I am like in person naturally when it comes to performance, all that goes out the window. Like, I just become a whole different person. No, ain't nothing wrong with so. that. I mean, that's the whole game. Like, um, to leave it all on stage. Mm-hmm. You know, to every time. I, I always tell people, when you enter a room, you got to be prepared on how you enter the room and, and stand on that stage. Mm-hmm. That's just communicating with people, being able to blend in, being a chameleon <clears throat> in the midst when you need to be, right. being vocal <clears throat> and active and being seen when you need to be, knowing how to articulate and knowing how to move around the different situations that you may encounter. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think that's important. So um, what um, what do you think? What, what's going on with you and, and, and cool? Do you think cool is cool as a name sound? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. But oh, she seems oh, oh, she seem oh, very oh. cool so she far. She real <laughs> laid back, laid back, kicking, enjoying the ride on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. So you yeah. talked about your son. Do you have um, other children? You only no, have I, just, one boy? I just have one child. Oh, yes. How old is he? He's five. Oh. Man, running the house. Shout out to that little dude to be running the house yes. when cool come home. <laughs> yes. He knows all my songs. Oh yeah, like he because he's always in the studio with me at video shoots. That's good. When I'm getting my makeup done, hair done, like he is always with me. That's beautiful. Tonight, he might want to do that. <clears throat> he might want to. Do you think he might want to do the music? He actually, um, he actually tries to freestyle. Oh yeah, it's, shout out it's, to that freestyling <laughs> five year old. It's so funny, y'all. Cool. Like, <laughs> y'all can call yourself cool in the game. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It can go down just like that. Y'all can become something totally different. We got a whole dang uh, situation going on. Listen, you got it, but yes. Yeah. I, that's, Let's I get love back that to it. dynamic. What's that? Uh, your daughter. Um, oh, my son will be here Sunday. She's going to take off. He's 13. Whole family. Like that's, yeah, my that's, other son just left. My older son, oh, he's okay. 27. He just left. I told him he was coming. He said, whatever. I got to go. <laughs> it ain't little running head pain or... Uh, uh, one of them, nah, here, like soon, soon, soon. <laughs> nah. I got you. E. No, no. <laughs> I already know how you coming. I ain't studying you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, who is she? I said, oh, it's just cool. Oh, cool. I'm going. I said, oh, <laughs> no. But I'm gonna tell you something though. The nigga missed out because I'm glad I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And now nah, he he have to work. He worked yeah. for General Motors. Shout out to Trey, who had a nice day and left me while ago. <clears> but it's <throat> all good, man. So, um, getting back to it, you um. So you 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 say I'm gonna rap. I, I'm gonna get serious about it. Uh, right. And you so so who would you like to work with if you had had <clears throat> every you could rock with anybody if you could rock out with any person if you felt like okay I seen this person I like her vibe or I like his vibe mm-hmm. who would that person be? <clears throat> so, so I gotta pick one person. Yeah. Mm. My top pick to work with now, currently in this moment, would be Big Crit. That can happen. Big Crit just in Mississippi, nigga. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gonna get that boy. Yeah, I love me some Big, Big like, Crit. Why him? Man, he speak to my soul. Like his music. Like I got introduced to him when I was, um, <clears throat> I want to say maybe twenty twenty one, and um, he for for starters he's down for the cause. Like he. He he felt a lot of people to come on here and <clears throat> talk good about Big Crit. Crit is the truth. And then like he, he just has substance. He has music that I personally feel like is timeless. Like, um, he's had music that has gotten me mentally out of some situations. He just put me in a better space. Like, um any I feel like any artist that like you said, people want to get to know you and I feel like um his music is so transparent. You know, people can put on the facade and be who they want to be, but I peep like authenticity and okay. that's something and he's heavily influenced by Pimp C and who? you cannot go wrong with Who? Pimp C. Oh yeah, I forgot you. 
<laughs> say it again. Look, Shatter Dreams. That's no, no, my say, stuff. Say it again. Who is he influenced by? Pimp C. And why is that important? Man, why isn't it? Why wouldn't it why be important? Why wouldn't it be important? Be important. That's the Come on, talk deal. to me. Talk to me. Tell me why. What did you? Man, what did you? Why do you think he was influenced by Pimp C? Let's talk about that. Man, for start. So everything about Pimp C, like. And I'll speak for myself first. Why I feel like the crit was influenced by Pimp C is because Pimp C represented the underdog. People wasn't trying to take him serious at first. And he proved himself to me like, you know, the South, they weren't taking the South serious. And he's the one. How many times have you heard <clears throat> this story from your husband? I have so grew many. up here because I know so they many. wasn't taking the South serious. And they still don't to this day in some yeah, parts, but I'm some coming. areas. Keep keep on talking about it. I'm, I'm <clears throat> listening. <laughs> I mean, <I'm laughs> go ahead and go ahead and let it be known. He just, he just, he spoke, he said stuff people were scared to say. And mm. he stood on it. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Like, like seriously and mm. it, it 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 don't it, i don't i personally feel like you don't get no realer than that pimp c was beyond a rapper he was his artistry transcended like so many different <clears throat> um it it's hard to explain i, I, it. I couldn't yeah like yeah I was, he's a leo was here shout out to he's a leo he nah, just left he, yeah i came that and I hate he gone and don't we hate gone, it? Man. But it's okay. It's like, we still got we yeah. still got the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and so we do have something like yeah. some of our loved ones pass on and we have nothing left. But he had a, 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 a come on the man, go get work. that riding dirty. Yeah, go get that sure. go yeah go get that pocket full of stones. Tell yeah, me something good. Man. Yeah, go get that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He left a legacy behind. Oh yeah, you can you can go get that. Uh, oh, oh man, him and Master P had some bangers together too. That kick though, I just had KL on here. He, you know, made oh, that okay. beat. KLC, oh. the one with Beast by the Pound. He just was oh, on here. Dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out KLC, man. It was just going to Beast by the Pound documentary coming. Them boys oh, serious dope. about it. But yeah, um, so the thing I could say, man, top three artists of all time. The thing I could ask you, top three top artists three? of all time, dead or alive. Um, Tupac. That's number one. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, she went hard. Um, she could sing and rap. You giving me three? That's all you get. Three, the last one. Any <clears> genre, <throat> dead or alive. Mm, you put me in a tight spot. Give me five. No, we <laughs> never gave nobody five. It's the top three artists. <laughs> all the, why my phone at? So Nipsey Hussle. Man, you know, shout out to Nipsey. I tell this story every time. I met Nipsey at the Palms Hotel. Me and Nipsey were just sitting there chilling, and I told him, you're going to have to work harder, my brother. I, uh, I I was like you you know you got to come on with it and he was he just he said oh you gonna see oh yeah I never forget it and after that I took my wife to Slauson a lot of times he started building the stores up and uh, I love black owned businesses so we sure. always frequent them wherever we are at if it's in Chicago if it's in ain't that right baby mm -hmm. even anywhere even in Jamaica wherever we at <laughs> we just go straight to the little old stores and show support and got love to. yeah so that's because like we have dollar. a little store yeah. so when I went to Slauson I was thinking about the stores I had created in the Texas vibe so I would go <clears> by there and shout out to Gary down in uh, Miami remember Gary shout out to Gary. Yeah, Purple Carpet, shout out. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's certain ones that stick out. Oh, Cloud in New York, Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Junebug, what up, baby? So, you know, it's like, it's a family. We're right. a family, you know what I'm saying? We all respect each other for the grind, man. And um, shout out to D-Map in Atlanta. Huh? I said we're the original Wall Street. So check it out, man, Boss Talk 101. <laughs> we're in the building, baby, the original Wall Street. She said it, I heard it. it. So, so just tell us a little bit more about the music. I mean, <clears throat> let me get my phone. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, uh, the the, the, um, the vibe. How do you do you uh, do you freestyle in the in in um, the in when you go in, um, or do you what do you do? So my process in creating a record, it will be um, the beats. Of course, they tell me what to say. They talk to me, and I'll freestyle in a car. And I now I record myself freestyling, and I'll just kind of like take from that, like whatever thought process, whatever thought process I have, um, I'll go from that. Or sometimes. I'll be in poetry mode and I just go straight in writing. Like I wrote poetry before I start rapping. So if I hear a beat that just like um, resonates with me, um, I'll just literally go in and write. And, and a lot of times my songs take me days. Really? What was yeah. the, what was the process of uh, what table turn? <laughs> what was the process? Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> Woo. 
so I wrote that song. I was very upset at a particular circumstance. Okay. And I was like, you know what? Instead of making a Facebook post or making some sad meme, sharing some sad meme, I was like, I'm going to monetize this hurt. And yeah. I put it in a song like, them tables going to turn. Oh, like really? somebody... You know, yeah, nigga, you did it to me, but it's gonna come yeah. back at you, and nigga. And guess what? It My did. hands gonna yeah, be nigga. clean. It's just yeah, gonna yeah, be. it did. Yeah, you read what you sow, <laughs> nigga. You know what you done. Uh, tables gonna turn on you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the nigga who the tables gonna turn on, cause we know what she she. You know who she talking to. It's what it's somebody. Yeah, get it like that. Yeah, somebody done got yourself in a little trouble. Cause we don't do voodoo either, nigga. No. no, no, no. <laughs> And then at the same time, like, um, I had lost my grandmother in the same breath. And so that was just like, you know what? I'm going to put everything I'm feeling into this song. And instead, and tables turn, it don't necessarily have to be a negative connotation of, like, getting somebody back. It's like, you know what? This present situation has the potential with my perception changing, turning around. Like, it don't have to be like this. And so that's another side to it that my... Yeah, my, I get it. You, you, yeah, your grand T. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. Big yeah. Mama. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> GG. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. That's real. You know, family is something else, man, and and it's it's tough, with, especially the ones who hear, the ones who leave. You know, me and you've experienced so much over the years, and and it's just something else to um, have to go through. What a lot of times we feel we have to go through in the flesh, but yeah. our spirit is truly willing. You know yeah. what I mean? We'll be all right. So, so where do you see yourself in the next two years? In the next two years, <clears throat> I see myself with a much larger body of work, <clears throat> Boom. for sure. Boom. And just all the names that you named that came <laughs> through here, like, um, those will be my peers very soon. Like, yeah. no doubt. Oh, I mean, I, I not got, even just the names. You know what I'm saying? Just anybody who's anybody, on the yeah, hustling like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be in a, we you got to see me. You either yeah. ride with me or collide with me. Facts. Real <clears> talk. <throat> y'all, y- y- I be putting it down. I, don't, I need to stop. <laughs> you the man I just for the job, man. The, I do this is what I do. It's what I do. So you know, um, <clears throat> hey man, we are gonna get into the music a little bit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we going we gonna to flex a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, listen, man, cool for the bless the mic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we might have to get we may, it. May, may, it may catch on fire. I don't know. We don't know yet. It might. We, we got a thing where it just blow up. We don't know. <laughs> no, but, but definitely um, we're going to vibe out with you. Um, we definitely um, want to hear the sound, man. Like I said, I'm doing something for the girls. Right. Freestyle. I love, or, you know, or, or just just to the, the, the bless the mic, you know what I'm saying, with right. something smooth, you know what I'm saying, to where the listeners, the people can be like, man, you know what I'm saying, I want to rock with her. Man, right. where her music at? Right. Check it, man, where cool <laughs> at? You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. And I just, what y'all getting right now when the music come on, I might, I don't know. Hey, man, <laughs> it's whatever, man. You know, God is good regardless. All the time. You know, so we, we just... <laughs> You know, we, 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 we watch what's going on in the hood around here, man. We it's try to make sure, man, that, that we get the people on there. I'm glad we linked up, to For be honest with us. you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, we got a, we got a lot of work to do. Dallas needed a platform. Hey, we here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, making sure you get hit the way you're supposed to by that camera. Let's For go, sure. man. Yeah. <laughs> so right. check it, man. Yeah. Hey, whoa, don't run that part. Don't <laughs> run that part. That's my part. You know what I'm talking about? Let me do this. You just chill, okay? <laughs> Don't even try it. So check it, man. Hey, man, we here with uh, Cool, man. It's going down, man. Uh, man, let me check it. Let's see. Let's see. This, this to be. We, we decide. Hold on. Let me get these. Can you hear? It? Can you hear? Uh, Do I need to turn that you up or you good? A bit. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. What up, Chris? Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Just a minute. Let me bring that back. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Cool in the building. Yeah. Cool is on Boss Talk 101, y'all. Y'all gonna have to fill us, man. Oh yeah, yeah, be, uh, yeah, man. All right, here we go, man. <laughs> right, check right. it, check it, man. Cool is in the building, man. Mm. Ain't no sense in y'all. Hey, yeah. you ain't gotta wait no more, nigga. The nigger. closest that I get to ass shots is when I'm throwing it back. Whole body get from God shit. I'm really built Come like on. that, like literally speaking. The whole be hating, nigga be tweaking. They don't send on no news, cause he the type that motherfucker leak it. Like shut the fuck up, little nigga, little bitch. I know you heard me speaking, and now the nigga can't watch me. They good for the weekend. You never get a text saying that I'm let. 
A, can't beat the box, I just put it in they fat A's. Rich nigga from the day go. I cut that nigga off, cause he ain't asked me how my day go. No dumb shit, I'm stacking my chips like Tetris Legos. Wrapped around my finger, they gon' do just what I say All so. Right. Overpay my dues. I really beat the eyes, bow your head when you see me shit. You in the presence of a god, hey, this shit so retarded. But niggas turn a real one heartless. Ain't no going back. Done got me not and got me started. Like fuck a broken heart, I'm breaking generational curses. This life's your real man. Ain't no fucking rehearsal. Call that power wrench, cause that make a nigga dip. Nigga say certified, but he really is a bitch. Real cool, but he ain't know what to do with it. But fuck oh do, cause I got me a new nigga. Check I don't it, give man. a damn what a hater say, bitch. I'ma be like this until I turn gray, bitch. I am a dog. I am a beast. I beat the eyes, zoom numbers, put that shit on repeat. I be smiling, but I don't fucking play. Turn nothing into something that be the play. Foot on my neck now, ain't no fucking break. But looking at my watch, ain't got no time to waste. Check it, dog. Yeah. Check it, dog. Wait a minute, dog. <laughs> Say man, she would have went. She could go all night. That's from the dome. Way. I, yeah. Oh, you got <laughs> <laughs> like she I ready. eat. I eat. Ready. That's what I do. I eat. So I. So do you like just? I mean, do you love it? That's I, what you love. I can't. If I listen, if I couldn't do it, I wouldn't even feel like I'm living. To be honest, like this is you would die for it. I die for my son. <laughs> <laughs> I about to say. You love it though, funky. right? Like, like you love it. You love I the music. Do. I How do. does it make you feel like like when you when you spin rhymes and when you're doing your thing? I just feel like it might sound cliche, but I feel free. It's like really? an escape. Like I can finally the sh the sh stuff that I would normally say to somebody or the even emotions, facial expressions. Like I be keeping it so like. Oh, you one hundred. I see yeah. you. I, you was in the but music. <laughs> when it is in it, it just yeah. It's it's uh, nice. It's real. So so so. Do you think that okay? You know how how are we gonna make this happen? <clears throat> we just gonna work. Yeah, but you know what? My thought process isn't even how, it's when. The how is in the midst of encounters like it's this. It's up to God. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I get it. And so... Um, but you got to work. Huh? Just being strategic and staying in people's face. Like, what I've learned so far is marketing plays more of a role than talent. Like... I agree. Yeah. So, <clears throat> going where the people are, like you said, staying, like, content, content, content. Like, I have it. I, 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 I can tell you we've had... I've, everywhere I went... All these years, you see, I got visuals. I, I've always done it. I, people would look at us and be like, "Why he got all them cameras around him?" I always done it, right. and and it's been, and it's been, it's actually paid off. It's what I do. So you know, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm so used to it, other people will be uncomfortable. Right. I won't because I've always I've been dealing with this for a long time. Right. So I think that's the most important thing, and not caring what others well, are doing, exactly. tapping into God and what you <clears throat> needs to be doing. I think that's where it's at. Right. Because lookers, look at niggas, right. they ain't finna do nothing. <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> they not finna do nothing. At look all. at niggas, just look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what would you tell a a, a girl that's, uh, I'm going to say about uh, <clears throat> 17 that that want to get into the music and um and and she she really want it and and she don't and she don't know how she's going to do it. <clears throat> so what would I tell them? Um So for starters, it starts it so for the internal side, I would tell her is like figure out who you are as a person first. Like fall in love with who you are as a young woman because this industry will eat you alive if you are easily swayed or unsure of who you are as a human as a person figure out who you are <clears throat> stand on it i got that from nip like the actual stand on it like figure out who you are stand on it and just um know that whatever you have to say is relevant enough to um anybody who you get in front of need to like you have to make that you have to make what you have to deliver to people like that has to be take precedence over priority. anything that you yeah. that you got going on so, like, once you figure out that urgency or find that urgency of what you have to say, you know everybody need to hear what you got to say. Like, I look at my artistry as a capsule of medicine and everybody's sick. You got to take this shit. Like, wow. you got to. So, who do you look at? Because <clears throat> we were talking earlier. I believe I was talking about female artists. And I was, the coldest to me, and, and I love Cardi B. I don't play. 
But the coldest is it, for me is uh, Nicki Minaj the way she flipping around. Oh yeah, you can't deny like, Nicki. Like I, I, just her <clears throat> lyrical ability. Mm. Uh, is there? I mean, don't get it wrong. Now you can't forget about MC Light and all those people yeah. who paved the way. But the way she has changed the game lyrically for me, I don't think there's nobody out there that does it like she does it. Give me somebody that can really go hard as she do in that booth like that. So singing, are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about like, Nicki singing. Uh, changing Lauren up them Hill. cadence. You can't. She didn't. Her body yeah. of work is just. Uh, uh, listen, so, you listen. Know she got Nikki, uh, Nikki, <clears throat> kiss the feet almost. I seen her. I, yeah, yeah. I get it, and and I love Lauren, and shout out Lauren Hill. But Nikki is undeniable. The I'm not, body of work for sure. The 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 way <clears throat> that I think it's because she got with Gucci, and then she went and dealt with Lil Wayne. That's a hell of a algorithm. Yeah, not for sure. I mean, now, Nikki doing- hands down, like what well, as far as currently what's out is that. Let me flip through pages. Yeah, I don't. Nikki is that. Yeah, like I, I just <clears throat> wanted to speak on the females yeah. that rap and the, uh, the art, artistic flow of the female oh, artists. For sure. I think Cardi got better though when she got over there with that boy uh, Takeoff. Mm-hmm. I seen her. I seen her early on. I I, I followed her. Oh, okay. But when she linked up with. Offset, I I could tell her lyrical ability. You because you association brings about a similar. Yeah, for sure. If you're around somebody, you really whether you <clears throat> like it or not, you're gonna have some stuff to rub off on you. Totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, Unfortunately, I don't care who it is. If it's a negative <clears throat> thing, that's why right. I said don't. You know, one small at one rotten apple messed a whole bunch up. This is true stuff. So sure. if it's a good apple, all of them remain good. And I think that she got with a good apple. When it come down to her, you know, helping her artistic flow. Right. Mate, that's just my opinion, though. Nigga, I don't believe me. Nigga. I'm so under a rock, though, to where that's why I go to, like, before you mentioned Nikki, I was about to say Eve. Like, I'm. That's I'm, my dog. I'm, I'm back there. Like, but, but the body of work. Because you can't get, say you can't say Eve. And, and, and once you start tackling those, you got to yeah, go to Lil' Kim. Exactly. And then you got to deal with <clears throat> MC Light. Like I said, yeah, I look sure. at Light and Roxanne Shantae because yeah. I'm looking at the way this thing lunched off. Right. And uh, uh, what's that old girl named Lil to play in the movies now? The one was we missed Queen over Latifah. there. Queen Latifah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. like these are patriarchs. And I yeah, always talk sure. about, you can't talk about the and and I forgot the brat, you know I don't know where to categorize that, mm. but the brat, you know you got a lot of different girls, a female artists, women, ladies that really and I don't want to miss nobody. What Papu's old lady name? Remy Ma. Remy Ma. Remy. Remy did good with Fat Joe. Now shout out y'all over there. We see y'all over there. What was that? Tr. What? Foxy what Brown. Some kind of squad they got oh, yeah. over there. Foxy. Foxy Brown did her thing too. I'm just you just think about the different women and and now fast forward to the day and what's yeah. going on with the music today. Um uh it's a whole different vibe. People like Remy Ma, I'm proud to see them, you know, be able to flip and fl- you know, right. cruise into these situations after they cuz that's a long lasting that's a grind. Mm-hmm. You know, who who else would you say? Um I think we got all of them. What's the name of uh, Res- Rhapsody? Well, you can't say salt and pepper them. I don't know what to call them. You, know? <clears throat> um, you got the girl, you know, when you start looking at Megan and all the new ones, I ain't even talking about them. Yeah. I, I got respect for them, but yeah. they're still, they're doing their thing, man. So, you know, Megan is doing I real miss well. I Meg, like heavy. Really? Yeah. She, the, she says she the female uh, <clears throat> Tony Snow around this thing. Hey. She love that Pimp C, too. Shout out to Megan. She, that did she, it right there, girl. We better talk about you. Look know? at you. <laughs> Pimp C, I, got, I know the code right now. Oh, that is the code. I mean, that is the code that set a lot of people in that seat. Yeah. Because this text is, like you said, sure. you gave it to me the same way I explained it, so you ain't even talked to me. Right. And you said the same exact thing I said mm-hmm. about how underrated, you know, the South was. And he yeah. he gave, he brought light to that. Definitely did. So, and I, and, and you you know your music, man. When I looked, I was like, this girl from South Dallas, <laughs> who got this girl rapping over here? Some of these niggas got this girl rapping. Some but I done got me figured rapping. it out. <laughs> now you is really out here just rapping on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was on a puppet show or something? I some, I'm like, these niggas done put a key in her back. She thinks she a rapper now. <laughs> I love it because you know what? <laughs> I got you. No, but no, you no. you did get me because yeah. it made me understand that you really love the music oh, yes. and that the you're artist. not you know mm-hmm. out here just doing something to be doing it. You really, really serious about it. And 
And, you know, that's what we need. We need people that are standing up in Dallas. So in Dallas, we you got Erica Banks. You got, uh, yeah, Erica Banks. And you got... Uh, Megan. Erica Did Banks. You and oh, yeah, you got... Uh, <laughs> you got cool. Cool. Yeah. I'm waiting. God, how long do I have to say this, I man? Think, see, you know what? You have you been taking some time <laughs> thinking lately, so I'm trying to give you your space. No, you just I just I just think that there's you have unique. She been through her shout out unique music. You have uh, EXO music. You know you have oh, yeah. it's some people that's, that that yeah. Flower Child shout out Flower Child. Flower, I don't know Flower Child. Yeah, you need to get her on here. I, I was going I'm gonna shoot her inbox to. No, she she the truth. Okay, I mean, yeah. a lot of y'all say y'all the truth until uh, you know the truth get in front of you. Well, shout what? out to Eid CEO. <laughs> shout out to Cool Instagram uh, underscore Real Cool. All right, that's your handle, right? Yeah. What's that's your handle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's on all platforms. That's uh, on YouTube and Instagram. What about Twitter? What can they find? Twitter. What um, about TikTok? We working on it. I what got about you. TikTok? I'm, it's, I what about Likey? Facebook. Facebook is uh, Crystal Cool Johnson. That's on Facebook. I got a performance tomorrow, by the way. Where? At V-Live. V -Live. V -Live. I saw that. Get yep. the hell out of here. She is performing yes. at V-Live tomorrow. Y'all got to get there. Got to. I got an event June 12th come through. It's like I'm throwing it. Like you said, you created Where something at? you was looking yeah. for. And that's what I did. Where? Um, It's going to be in downtown Dallas. I don't have the... um. Name of the venue. Can you get right it now? back to me? I, I definitely I mean, can. I mean, yeah, because yeah. I can run it across the screen right when we say in this part right oh, here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 Is yeah. Is it June 12th? Yes, June 12th. Mm -hmm. What, um, okay. Um, Different it, artists will be performing. I'm oh, be, it's more than just you? Yeah. Basically, just getting bodies in the room. It's, it's a rebrand of, like, me coming out. It's cool, but I'm going to have other artists. Um, Do you have any names that you can drop to say who's <clears> going to be there? Not right now. Oh, okay. No, yeah. that's, that's that's hot. The, the fact that you got you you created this on your own. Sure. My my dude is a boss. Yeah. She I'm on a, boss talk for a reason. Nigga with a skirt on. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I I say um, just keep doing what you're doing. We love you here. I appreciate it. Um, anybody anybody that we come we we get on this platform we love we love hard. Right. So if you need something from me, you know I'm here. Um, if you want to, you know, if we're trying to do some T-shirts or promo something, I, I'll put it on right here for you. you Man, know, whatever you need, you know, if it's something that, that you need from us, you linked in, you family now. I yeah, you my little, you my little <clears throat> sister, and your brother's gonna have to move over and make room. Yeah, you yeah. My shout out, shout out to them brothers. They gotta make room, and that one brother. <laughs> shout out to the manager that lost his job tonight. <laughs> That's my guy. That's my brother AJ. <laughs> I know. Shout out AJ, boy. I see you at the family reunion. Nigga. You <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no, but being from South Dallas, did you ever have any trying times? Anything that. That hit you to where it's like, man, you know, I don't know if Definitely. I was gonna make it out of this thing. Definitely, like where I was raised, to the left of us was a, can I say, something? like yeah. it was a, it was a pimp house, straight house up. To the pimp, left. Which, put his name out. No, I'm just Hell kidding. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pimp. It was a pimp. Like going three on. doors down, it was the crack oh, house. Oh, like crack we, house. we was in the middle, and I shout out to my mama because I didn't know that until I got older. Like she, wow. she, she, she had it to yes, where y'all like had to deal with it. It was like some arrangement, like don't let my kids see this, whatever, like that. Like she wow. was. My mama is a soldier, and like we went to the wild. Park. What's your mama name? Christy. Shout out Christy. Check it out, man. The rose, that's my rose that grew from concrete. Already, oh, man. Baby. Christy, check it, man. <laughs> check it. All right. Well, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna hold your night up, man. We got it. We we we, gonna, we about to shut her down. Um, mm -hmm. So whenever you need us, we here. Um, you it. you've been on Boss Talk one hundred and one now, man, and uh, that it's official. Once you on Boss Talk, you made it. I appreciate that. All that, that other stuff don't matter. I already know. Say, man. <clears throat> Mama, I spent another. It. What? Who'd you, what'd you say? Mama, we made it. Mama, we <laughs> made it, man. Say, man. Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. We out.